Welcome back. The assistance that parents hope they never have to seek, but Nemours has it, and they make it their business to help care for sick children, regardless of their ability to pay. Dr. Michael Earhart is the Enterprise Vice President and Physician-in-Chief at Nemours Florida Operations. Megan Sproles and her daughter, Nora, my lovely co-host right here. How you doing, Nora? Good. Yes. All right. We're going we're gonna to talk to Doc first, and then we'll get into your story, okay? So, first of all, you know, for those who haven't seen you around the halls there and stuff, how long have you been with Nemours? Oh, a little, about 23 years. 23 years, and your role, what is, as far as, you, you've obviously seen Nemours grow. I've been here 22 years. I've watched the building grow across the highway there and everything. And talk about what you've seen change and how it's impacted this community. Well, I've had the privilege of serving this community for 23 years, not only as a physician, but also as a, as a medical leader of the local uh, Jacksonville uh, Children's Specialty Care. And uh, when I first showed up, there was not as many providers and not the, not the breadth of, of availability of the services. And over 20 years, just like Jacksonville's grown, the pediatric medical community has grown. Yeah, and Megan and, and Nora here, you guys, uh, your experience, how did you first come to know Nemours? Um, we, our first experience with Nemours was the week she was born. Um, she was born with the most severe form of spina bifida. It's a spinal defect. And with spina bifida, there comes a myriad of issues. So the first week of life, when she was having her first two of almost 20 procedures now, um, we met with a bunch of specialists um, throughout that week that um, are still watching her, monitoring her grow right now. What, so you've, you've seen, you saw a bunch of different physicians, and what, what is it, I mean, you've been seeing Nemours for a while, and, and you're a big fan of Nemours, right? What, uh, what has it meant to you? If you can put it in words, I know that's hard. What has it meant to your family? Oh, Nemours has been a godsend for our family. Um, their dedication to excellence in caring for our daughter means more to us than I can ever uh, put my finger on. Um, we can have an emergency or a question, and they can call us within minutes and give us advice or encouragement. Um, and just help us through that particular issue. Um, we owe so much to them, and um, I can't say enough good things. But the, we mentioned it as we started out that you know, regardless of whether they can pay or not, you guys are helping these families and these children and, and people in, in the toughest times in their life. So obviously, that that funds have to come from somewhere. So you guys have some campaigns that uh, you're raising money for, right? Absolutely. You know, greater than 50% of our business covers hardly any of the costs of providing that care, so we depend upon philanthropy. And we're really excited because last evening we started the, the public campaign for our, our Promise campaign. We're bringing it to the community now, and just like through efforts just, just like this, and we're looking forward to funding a, in this phase one, goal of about $7 million. All right, so how can, uh, how can folks get involved in, in helping? Well, you'll be seeing on the screen and others how to donate through our website. So there's going to be and lots of things that you're going to see on, uh, running through other media collateral that's going to give them information about what sort of exciting events we're going to have. And specifically, this, uh, the funds from this, I mean, is this, are there it's any, any costs associated with it? I mean, how, do, how are they broken up and what are they used for? Well, actually, the funds, that's one of the unique things about this. Every dollar that comes in goes out to where, where it's been directed. Wow. During phase one, we have uh, several uh, specific targets. Some of them are uh, based upon services that we provide. Others are helping the building to improve. So for instance, our lobby, we have 1,500 people a day go through our lobby. And it's just not very open for learning and education and, and people coming together as a community to try to, to learn more about each other and in a relaxing atmosphere. And others more. such as uh, cancer and blood disorders and also hearing loss, other programs such as that. So, Nora, uh, you want some of the money to go to more games in the lobby, right? More games and toys and stuffed animals? <laughs> <laughs> um, but you have in your, in your hands there, uh, she, has a, yes. she has a donut. She does. She has her own donut. I don't have yeah. my own donut. You have your own donut? Yes. What kind of donut is it? Oreo. Oreo donut? With or strawberry? With, with strawberry on top. With strawberry on top. Oreo donut with strawberry on top. And did you bring yes, some? We did. And so if people go and buy these, they're going to yes. be helping the Moors? Yes. How does this, this work? Where, where, where do they go to get these? Um, the mini bar toward the beach on Beach Boulevard near Penman. Um, oh 100% God. of the proceeds are going straight to Nemours. They match your dress. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so cool. So go buy Nora's Donut. What's the name of it? 
Nora Donut. Nora Donut. Donut. That's that's original. At the mini bar. Thanks so much for being my co-host through this, Nora. I love you. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks so much for being here. Special thanks to Nemours Children's Hospital, Specialty Care, for sponsoring this segment. And you can find more information or make a gift to help children by visiting Nemours.org forward slash Our Promise.